Now that we've replaced the plastic bone tube, we can't forget to replace the plastic load tube as well. All we need for this replacement is a new plastic load tube. First step is to verify that all the plastic filament is completely unloaded from the machine. Press the push connect fitting on the plastic extruder to detach the old plastic feed tube from the plastic extruder. Next, we will press on the push to connect fitting on the dry box adapter to detach the old plastic feed tube from the dry box. We can now remove and discard this old plastic feed tube. With the old plastic feed tube removed, insert one end of the new plastic feed tube into the push to connect fitting on the side of the dry box. Then guide the plastic feed tube through the opening on the back of the printer and let it hang freely. Do not connect the plastic feed tube to the extruder at this time. We will want to wait until we reload material before we reattach to the plastic extruder. Once we have completed the replacement of our plastic feed tube, we will now reset the plastic feed tube counter on our printer. Updating this counter will allow your device to warn you proactively when your plastic feed tube next needs to be replaced. To reset this counter, we simply navigate to the menu, Utilities, Maintenance, and Maintenance Schedule. You should replace the plastic feed tube every 3,200 cubic centimeters of printed plastic or if you notice any excessive damage or wear to your tubes. To officially complete this replacement, you can now reload your plastic filament.